Hey guys, welcome back. Um, we are now on Midas. Um, this level, it, it can be really fun or really stressful and quite honestly, I can't remember where things are so I'm just gonna play it. Actually, I do remember two of them. Um, we're just gonna clear this room first. I personally find it's easier to clear this room so we don't have to do it later on and we don't have like a million gorillas thumping their chest at you it's just easier whoops would help if I didn't hit the walls Okay, so as soon as you leave this room, there will be three out there anyway. So um, it's just easier if you do this now. Just makes makes it easier. Get them out out of the way. Um, so what I like to do is I like to come over here I let them come to me I get rid of them and then I go down there and kill the rest of them and head into the actual main part of the of the game Okay, there's the three and then there might be more I can't remember you end up killing a lot of gorillas in this level <laughs> okay never mind okay now we've got the croc which is pretty easy pretty easy to kill a croc just jump away from him And we'll head into the main room. Um, there is also jumps you can do to to get up to the the levers quicker. Um, I just haven't mastered those jumps yet. Let me just double check. So on these, these are opposite. Okay, so the the ones that look like a Y actually mean down. So we got one down on the end, then a space, and then another one. There's another gorilla. I'll just jump away from you just in case. And now we can move up towards these ladders. Ladders? Levers. If you really want pickups, I'll show you this as well. Um, if you really want additional pickups, there's this over here. I don't think this counts as a secret. It's a big old jump. Um, but if you want additional pickups, it's just a cool thing to grab. And you can hear the um, things in the door, the flames.
And there's also a pickup up there, but you have to do like um, one of those glitches to do it. Like a corner glitch. So we want to go into this room. Um, there is a gorilla in this room also. So just be aware that when you go in that room, as soon as you go in, he's going to trigger. I just love the music. I'm sorry, I go quiet when I'm like totally vibing to the music. <laughs> or I sing it. But yes, once you've made it over these jumps, these jumps are literally the same thing over and over again. Um, it's just doing a little run and jump. And then I just normally do a stand jump here. Okay, I did take some damage, but it, it's fine. Now, to get out this room, I have died a few times trying to do this. I just, I just do a standing jump. And then I aim towards the door and make sure that I've got it inside and then I just jump and then I roll just to make sure I don't take too much damage and that's the first one done um, it's quite easy quite an easy room really um, I just think it feels a lot more daunting when you've you like first play it the next room is quite tricky um, so we want to put that up Sorry, I'm trying to see the door. So the first one is up and the rest are fine. Uh, sorry, the first one's down. Sometimes a gorilla will spawn. I think it's the next room. I'm pretty sure it's the next room. So this can be a bit tricky, um, I'm just going to do it, I just jump. And then the last one, you just do a sweet little run jump, I never make it, okay? But if you, if you just kind of squish yourself along, you can get it, no problem. And then to finish off, you have to dive in. Come on. And we finished it and the music is still going. <laughs> okay, so down in the middles. It's weird, I remember a lot of this game, but I can never remember the levers. Bum, bum. It's down in the middle. So this is where I think a gorilla may come out. Okay, yeah, I can hear him. Not sure where he is, but... So 
All right, we got him. Okay, so there's two um, secrets in this next, like, bit. Um, one of them I suggest using as a way to get down to the area anyway. Because you don't take damage. And for me, it's just easier. I've always used this way to get down. Okay, that will just destroy most of the room. So we'll go up to the top. And do some cool little jumps. Not like that though. <laughs> God. That was almost a fail. I was not looking forward to redoing that again. I think the thing is, I like this level, but it is a massive kind of grind. Like, it just feels like it's a never ending level. There's so much to remember. This room here, um, actually, <coughs> oh, the secret is down there. I bet you can see it. <coughs> but what we need to do is actually go across there, which is where we normally go anyway. And we're gonna head this way. Let's get rid of the bats. Now there'll be two crocodiles. Oh, I forgot about you, sorry. And there should be two crocs in the water. see him. I'm locked on. Just wait for you to come back. I might have to do the cheeky swim. Doing like a swim hanging off the edge draws them out. He was coming for me. Okay, so the next secret is in here. And you have to do some, some jumping and stuff to get to it. And there is a, a room above us which you actually end up in. Now, what you want to do is... You want to do it so it's just a standing jump, I think. No. Nope. There we go, from that distance. Oh no, maybe not. <laughs> oh, fail. I can't remember. <laughs> My bad. I think you do that and then you jump forward. There we go. And 
and then that that should be your secret. Now there is that other one that we need to still go and get, but this is what I was saying earlier. It's easier to go down this way. And in fact, it's the only way I've ever, ever done it. Um, I'm just doing it like this, swimming instead, because it's easier than me just running at the moment. Um, but you take no damage from this, so... Just personal opinion is better, because you could just go in the corner. And that should be that secret. There should be one more left, and I don't even know if I've got enough health for it. This is just so that I can try and save my health. I normally don't jump like this. Okay, there's gonna be one here. Normally I just run along with my shotgun and it wouldn't be a problem. So, we're just going to casually get ourselves across. Here we go. Get rid of those bats. You do not want to get a death by a bat. <laughs> the stairs, lots and lots of stairs. Okay, so that room below us is that water room that we were just in. And because I've not got a lot of health, I'm going to have to be really careful from now. Especially with that. Oh gosh. Those drops. Oh, I don't know what I'm looking at. <laughs> I use this as a good place to try and get rid of some of the stuff. Okay, there is another gorilla, but that's fine. Anything we don't get, we can get in a minute, so it's fine. In fact, here is a perfect place if you've got any enemies running around. This ledge, or that one, I suggest using. to get rid of croc just in case we can't well, actually we will come back this way 
So you want to get rid of the croc that's in here. If he appears. If not, we might have to bait him out. Okay, I'm going to bait him out. So what I'm going to do is just going to drop him. Swim up. Okay, the croc is not coming to me today. Alright, cool. So I'm gonna die, basically. There he is. What the hell? He's dead. Cool stuff. Now this room, um, this is the one with the bar. This is just above um, that room we went into earlier with the lions and the tigers. And this is why I said that I was gonna just clear it out. For me, it's easier to clear out and then go back that way. And then aim from here, just get rid of what you can. You want less things like pounding on you. I think that's pretty much all of the mobs. Ah, oh, I was trying to dive in and I pressed walk too soon. <laughs> so just to make sure, I'm going to hang myself off the edge just in case. And just hold it for a couple of seconds just to make sure that there's nothing else hidden in this area because I've done this before where I've missed an enemy And then all of a sudden, it sneaked up behind me as I've made made my way down. All seems good, so... Right near the end. So there's one more secret we need to get. Um, and this one is the trickiest out of them. So to activate the door, we need to get the lever, which is here, hidden, and this is horrible. So I'm probably going to die. Or you could just do what I do and just activate it and go. Because it counts as a secret, it means you get it. I mean, it depends how much you really want to do because I'm trying not to die I would rather not and don't forget not to stand on Midas's hand ages. Okay, we're done. So now we've got one more thing to do and that's just to get to the end of the, the level, put the bars in the doors. So we're going to head back to the room with the levers. But like I said, because you've got the, the chime, the secret chime, it counts as a secret. So even if you don't pick them up, you know, you can do it.
if I remember correctly, the last one, or lever, I think it's like the first lever that I pull. Oh, it's up at the, up. I say up a bit, it's down at the ends. So there's one more lion um, in that room, and that is it. That is the end of Midas. <clears throat> the next level is my worst enemy. Um, so I'll probably upload, do some more recordings after the new year. So. Um, yeah, that that will all be done after New Year for you guys, if you guys are still interested in this. So we just put the bars in, easy as pie. done here um please uh comment midas if you got to the end thank you very much three out of three nice see you later guys bye